Just how complete are the safety tests conducted on new drugs, chemicals, and medicines? Possibly not very complete at all. I love science. Now, you know, I'm going to do a few experiments later. I hope you'll to keep my Ford Foundation grant. I'm going to do the uh, iodine. I hope you all remember the iodine and the potato experiment. I love good science. <laughs> New investigations have uncovered poor test procedures and outright fraud in many laboratories that supposedly verify the safety of many drugs and chemicals. We began looking at uh, how some of the animal studies had actually been conducted. And uh, we began finding an increasing amount of discrepancy. We ran into cases where there was actually fraudulent reporting where the animal tests were not, had not even been conducted. Ernest Brisson is in charge of the Food and Drug Administration's Research Monitoring Branch. No one is saying why the FDA, which is supposed to monitor the safety of food and drugs, took so long to find out about the improper and incomplete testing procedures. Most of the labs suspected of poor work are independent companies. Large chemical and drug manufacturers contract the labs to test out their new products on animals. All the field mice are in baggies. Yeah, yeah that protects they, they them. They amputated against... their ears. No, really? Yeah. Some of the labs were apparently too overworked and understaffed to do good work. And you make it now the Justice Department has been called in to investigate cases of outright fraud. According to the FDA, these weren't necessarily isolated incidents. Animal safety testing has not measured up to the, the quality of science that we expected from those people who are involved in that industry. Just about all of the laboratories that we've been to thus far have had some kind of practice which was kind of objectionable from the standpoint of having a perfect system. Nice, paisley, horsey. Give the nice horses some sugar cubes. According to the Wall Street Journal, the government is asking drug and chemical makers to re-examine the results of literally thousands of tests. Meanwhile, many of the products are already undergoing rigorous testing in the general marketplace. Don't send me no doctor. Jim Reeves on the News Blimp.